dry summer night in the Rocky Mountains. MLB Network comes at you live from Coors Field in downtown Denver. Here it's the little guys on the big stage between the Columbus Clippers and the Sugarland Skeeters. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your Sugarland Skeeters. Justin Verlander, a Virginia-born right-hander, gets the ball to start this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, I'll tell you, starting pitchers go, he's one of the best around. He's really found what works for him, and he's had a lot of success because of it. Yeah. I think he expects to go out there and dominate every game he starts, and he usually does. No one should be surprised if he turns in a really solid start here. Gabriel Arias is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Seven o'clock. The 1 0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. And the skies are clear, but that's not helping the temperature much. 45 degrees here at first pitch. One and two now. The count is one and two. Now here it comes. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. So now to the plate, Tyler Krieger. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. And it's quickly 0-2. Down the third baseline. And that finds its way through for a base hit. Hey, that's a nice job by the batter right that there. Left-handed batter base. going down the third baseline. No you don't see that happen no. too often. A lot of things have to go right. And with the third baseman playing off the line, oof, that's a nice job of hitting right there. Stepping in now, Nolan Jones. Ball. A ball and no strikes. And at first for him, following the one out single. Oh, that's Two and oh now. If you're going to have any chance against a good pitcher, you got to find yourself in some great counts. And he certainly worked himself into a nice 2 0 -oh count right here. Krieger stands at first with one out. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 change up for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Ah. Taken, but that catches the inside part of the plate. Two two, swing and a little blooper to center. In there, a base hit. Throw into third, and he is hey. in there. Hey, a little top of the order lightning right here, Dan. The second and third guys in the batting order throw knocks out there. Now you're staring a monster in the face. Dero, this is just what you don't want to face as a pitcher, right? You get the two and three hole guys up, and all of a sudden now it's four, five, and six going to have to get through the meat of this tough batting order. Now that brings up Josh Naylor. No balls in one strike. Here's the 0 
one. Swings through it for strike number two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Runners are at first and third, one away. Ball. Change up, and he ain't buying it, one and two. Wow, really close pitch on 0 and 2. That just missed, and if he hits that spot right there again, he might get the call next time. A 1 2. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One pitch, two outs. A pitcher's best friend in the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Number 36 takes the mound for the home team in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? This guy has three pitches that he brings into his mix. And if he has all of them working, he has a chance to be really solid. A good pitcher, but he needs command of all three of his pitches. So here is Ross Adolph. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the off, first. Jordan Peters, the right fielder. Ross Adolph. Now the pitch. Outside, that's the ball. The 1 0 home. Aye. Wow, I can't one believe ball, the hitter strike. took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. A ball and two strikes ball, now. Two strikes, yeah. That's a well-placed fastball right there. Just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. And he fouls this one off. Another 1-2 delivery. Pitch is popped up. The catch is made on the mound, and that's the first out. Batting second. The second baseman. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this group in front of the home crowd tonight? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. Field shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Marwin Gonzalez is oh, in with one account. away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Hey, when you're featuring a mid-90s fastball like this pitcher, oh, attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball two. I got two on the count. Bases are empty, one man out. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at battle continue. The 2 2 one more time. And get the zone count full now.
three two pitch. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Batting third. The center fielder. So now here is Ronnie Dawson. Okay. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Runners on first with one down. Strike two taken. A fastball that clips the inside black. Nope. Inside and high with that one. One ball, two one strikes. Hey, textbook waste pitch right there. Does he go elevated fastball again or something slow below the zone? Now a 58 foot curveball that misses for a ball. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. The 2 2 one more time. Three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Batting right four. there, he goes down the on strikes, baseman. but he really Same made run. that guy on the mound work for it. Sure. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate now, Taylor Jones. High in the air out to center field. Valera will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. An inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network. So stepping in is Leading Daniel Johnson. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Daniel Johnson. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take nope. a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Hit out towards second. Gonzalez is up with it on the first, oh. and there's one gone here to start the second. Okay, here's the defense for the home team. And Manning's second base today is a guy with one of the quickest hands in the game. That's the name of the game over at second base. It's not about range. It's not about arm strength. It's about turning every double play for your pitching staff. Making the routine play and making sure every two is turned. Into the box now, George Valera. And the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. Hey. And a fastball in there for a strike. One and one. Now here's the pitch. Hey. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. The count is one and two. Lifted into center field. Dawson is under this one. And that's at number two. That is seven. The designated hitter. Ernie Clement. Up next, Ernie Clement. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. And now the first pitch. Hey! Fly ball out to straightaway center. 
Dawson gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. Now to the plate, number 13. Off, he readies for his first plate appearance. The third baseman, number 13. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Now here it comes. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Here comes the one two. It's looked at for two ball, ball number two. two And alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Ready with another 2 2. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3 and 2. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on 2 and 2 and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all that around the good. strike zone, and then what Don't do you do? Field. You come in. Sure that's man. a hard pitch for any hitter Ooh. to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. At the plate, Jordan Brewer hit down the third baseline. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. He'll get it into second. Standing in now for Yudi Nova. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. In now, Robo Garcia. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. One ball, one strike. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. And it's one and two. One and two. Hey guys, that fastball just registered 97 miles an hour on a night like tonight where it's super cold out. If you don't get the head to that baseball right there and you get jammed, it's almost like getting stung by a pack of wasps. Line drive snagged on a short hop. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll go now to the top of the third. 
And we are tied, nothing, nothing. New inning set to get underway. And next to hit is the catcher, Ryan LaFarnway. Ryan LaFarnway. Here's the first pitch to him. All one. I love everything All this pitcher's one, no got strike. working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got <clears throat> fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. He's off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Verlander will do this himself and that's the first down. Got it. Huh? The second baseman, Aaron. And Bracho. now in the box, Aaron Bracho as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Line drive, fair ball down the line. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. So now to the plate, Gabriel Arias, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. And there's ball two, two now. Ball, one strike. He's oh, fallen behind back. now. Three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Inside, he misses ball four. I'm sure the manager is fine with that. He tried to entice him with that 3-2 pitch, but he didn't take the bait. First base was open, though, so he just needs to make a good pitch for a ground ball. So next to bat will be Tyler Krieger. He singled in his first A.B. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Hey. He'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full now, three and two. Bracho at second, Arias is over at first with one away. Ground ball to second, this could be two. Gonzalez is there. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Bottom of the 
third now, down. And next will be the speedy catcher, Garrett Stubbs. Now here's the pitch. Off the plate, ball one. Hit out towards second. Reined in. And there's one away. Now batting. The right fielder. Ross Adolph. So now into the box is Ross Adolph. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. And now the first pitch. And that's one inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Ball to strike on the inside part of the plate, two and one. Even count, two balls and two strikes. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. The 2-2. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he is in there at third with a one-out triple. The batter, number nine, second baseman. Ball Here's win. Marwin Gonzalez now. Good. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Worked a walk in his first plate appearance. side but it's well fouled. Hey usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And another foul ball. away no score here but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone one ball, smart to lay down. off there as the fastball misses it's one and two now after multiple pitches were fouled off it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher so you think say I'm gonna throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it didn't happen This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a 1-0 ball game. That's good hitting right there. Put the ball in play and let the guy trot home from third to put your team on the board. Good baseball. Next, it'll be Ronnie Dawson struck out in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Krieger is in his tracks now as he tucks this one away to retire the side. So one run on one hit, no errors, and no one left on base. On now to the top of inning number four. The Skeeters lead it one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll give Leading way to the third the baseman, Nolan Jones. Baseman, Nolan Jones. Here it comes. 
And nope, the first pitch the of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. There's a bouncer foul to the left of the plate. One and one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Off-speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Hit on the ground to third. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The first base number 22, Josh Naylor. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Josh Naylor. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Well, that's just a nice executed pitch right there. To have the confidence to go in, pound it inside. If he's got that, this team's in trouble. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled off. No offer on that one, and Verlander's run at full down, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a three-two change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next three-two. Popped him up. And he'll put this away for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Daniel Johnson. Ready now is Daniel Johnson. He bounced out last time up. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. No trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. Now to bat, Taylor Jones. Leading He'll lead things off, off here in this one-run contest. The first baseman, Taylor Jones. And now the first pitch. That's a ball. Counts one and oh. The one oh is a good slider yeah, swung ball, on and straight. missed. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. On the ground to the right side. Uh, it's flagged down deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first out. Good range short off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. Stepping in now, number 13. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 0 home. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Bases are empty, one man out. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Jordan Brewer will be next. Lifted into the air to shallow center. In comes the center fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batting left fielder Jordan Brewer. So the next to bat will be Jordan Brewer. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Rounded weakly to the right side. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Four full. The Skeeters are out on top, one to nothing. And now, George Valera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. George Valera. First offering. Swing and a liner. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores it. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Into the box now, Ernie Clement. And oh, the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a miss. One ball, one Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. Popped him up. Stubbs over to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Now back. Catcher. Ryan LaVarno. Next up, Ryan LaVarno trying here to plate the tying run from second. First pitch on its way. Nope. That is bad. Now the 1 0. There's a breaking ball that misses off the plate. Two balls and a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. One out and a runner on second base. Drives it the other way to deep right. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. Valera rounds the corner and is headed home. He comes across to score. We're all square at one apiece. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. At the plate, Aaron Braccio, as he'll take a look at ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Hi, 
high and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder at the track. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field as they have taken the lead. It's three to one. There's still some game left to be played, but that one swing could end up being a deciding factor in this one. At the plate now, Gabriel Arias. As Verlander jumps ahead of him here with strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. behind 0-2 now. Swing and a liner. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. Now batting the left fielder, Tyler Krieger. And now here is Tyler Krieger. He's one for two in the ball game. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot when a pitcher is facing batters for the second or third time in a game. Here's the pitch. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. Hey, be on the lookout right here. Usually when a pitcher drops in a curveball for a strike looking, now he'll try and throw it in the dirt, get you to fish a little bit. I want to see where he goes here. Grounded to third. Over to first, and that retires the side. But they strike for three in the inning, two on this two-run home run. Halfway home tonight from Denver, Columbus is out in front, three to one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop for Yudis Nova. This is where the pressure starts to build a little bit on an offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. A scoop with the bare hand. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Well, well outside with the curveball for a ball. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. One two. Ground ball left side. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time for the first down. The batter number three, designated hitter, Robel Garcia. Now at the plate, Robel Garcia grounded out in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Just off the outside as he can't catch the corner. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for the second out. Now batting. Catcher. Get ready. Stop. Next to hit is Garrett Stubbs. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. 
Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. 1-0 count. Here it is. Aye. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. and a ground ball to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first with time to spare and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We're through five here at the ballpark. The Clippers lead it three to one. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go as the third baseman. Nolan Jones. Jones. First offering on its way. Ball, that's out. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The 1 0 home. Ball, that's inside. Must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. Into the box, Josh Naylor. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind 1 and 2. Into the windup and the pitch. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And he fouls this one off. Again, another foul ball. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Brewer is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Now that right fielder, Daniel Johnson. Now into the box, Daniel Johnson. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Pitch on the way. As the first pitch ball to him in. runs a bit inside for bowl one. A ball and a strike. One and one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way yeah, now, I suppose. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Two out, nobody on.
And he misses ball, again, ball, ball three. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Fouled away. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. The batter, the center fielder. George now to the plate. Here Valera. is George Valera, man at first after the two out walk. Has a look. Now the pitch. Ball. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Now Verlander will turn and go to first. And he just manages to get his hand in. One and no pitch on the way. Yeah. Johnson, the runner at first with two gone. Yeah. In for strike two. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Here comes the one two high in the air and drifting out to shallow center and as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So after the three spot last time around he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth Columbus is out in front three to one. Your Number 65 please. will take the ball now, now is the new Columbus. pitcher. Number 65. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ross Adolph. He tripled earlier, making him one for two in the ball game. First pitch on the way. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he is in the third with a leadoff triple. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great. And he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases just fine. Now, Marwin Gonzalez. What else? He will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 with a run batted in thus far. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, center fielder, Ronnie. Next up is Ronnie Dawson. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Oh, one's the count. One and one. Count. One and one. Two and, and one. From the stretch. 
Rounded down the third baseline. And stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. And the run will score from third to make this a three to two ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Nick Sandlin takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. In now, Taylor Jones. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Falls behind 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Weak grounder back to the mound. And that's the second out. Next to stand in is number 13, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute yep, it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom third of the order, 7-8-9, due up to start the seventh. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Pedro Baez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Seventh inning ready to roll and striding forward the designated hitter Ernie Clement. Now the first pitch. Nope, up a bit there. high there. A ball and no strikes. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Now a ball ripped into deep center field. Dawson has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Now back. Good contact to start out the inning. Ryan. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Next, here is Ryan LaVarnway. One for two with a double on his line thus far. First pitch of the A.B. now. Ooh, started it with the change, and it's nothing in one. Set and the 0 1. Mm, clearly fooled no there on the slider. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Now here's the pitch. In the air, down the line, and left. Brewer has to range back, but he'll make the catch near the line, and there are two men gone. The batter, the second baseman, Aaron Rocco. 
Aaron Bracho will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two-run home run that really got his guys going. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. To short, right to him. Throw cleanly yeah. into first, and that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, we for the traditional elevated stretch. of the inning now and next to bat will be the outfielder Jordan Brewer. Here's the first pitch. Popped him up. Bracho waits on it. One down. Every pitcher loves That's to get quick point. outs right. How about that one pitch one out a pop up to start the inning. At the plate now is Preyudis Nova, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And this is lined hard to deep left. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one out double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Stepping in now, Rubble Garcia. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. No hits to this point. Set with the 0 and 1. Ball in fact. Very tight ball game. 3 to 2 our score in inning number 7. One ball and two strikes to count. The 1 2. Two ball. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Full count. A full count, three balls and two strikes. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. And a changeup oh, couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Now batting, catcher, get ready. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Number 41, Ben Brown. Garrett Stubbs will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. From the belt, the pitch as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Hey. Came inside with the off speed stuff and it catches the corner. One out with the possible tying and go ahead runs on base here. Too much bite on the breaking ball that time as it's well off the outside. 
great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. And he misses ball four, so now that potential time run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Well, he's a youngster. You can see he's a little nervous out there. Some people call it butterflies, but to him it probably feels like pterodactyls are flying around in his gut going to be interesting to see if he can settle down here. Striding in is Ross Adolph trying to bring in the tying run from third here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. At the track, the wall. Gone! It's a grand slam. So he will touch him all on the grand slam, and it's now six to three. They complete the comeback with a flourish, going deep with a grand slam to take the lead. You don't get style points in this game, but I'd give them some if I could hand some out. Into the box now, Marlon Gonzalez. Second baseman. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. as this one's in on the hands. Here's the pitch. This one's flared off to the right side. Here comes the right fielder. A dive and oh he can't hang on. That's what's so disappointing as a pitcher, d -Row. You make a really good pitch, and yet this guy's so big and so strong, he's able to muscle it into right field for a base hit. Yeah, you hand your batting gloves to the first base coach right there, and you thank your lucky stars. That's a nice A.B. Daniel Espino takes the call from the pen as he'll try to get the final two outs of this seventh frame. Daniel Espino. At the plate, Ronnie Dawson, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty at strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Nope. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Right. on the move for second. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. No offer at the curve two that time and it's knotted up at two and two. for the punch out and the offering. 
Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. And that's in there. Base hit. And the throw will go to second as they get to force out. Oh, man, I don't know how that happened. Looked to be a base hit to the outfield, but then all of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play. To be honest, that just can't happen. Standing in now, Taylor Jones. Nope. As he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0 is a That's slider cool. taken for a ball. If you've been paying attention, nope. the guy on the mound does not want to come inside. If I'm at the plate, I'm leaning out over. 2 0 count, the pitch. That's out. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, 3-0 count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area, and it wasn't what he was looking for. This pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Number 13. Stepping in once again is number 13. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. From the stretch. Nope. Lays off ball one and oh. Hey, if you know an umpire has a tight zone, as a hitter, you tighten your zone as well. No reason to go after the borderline pitches unless you really have to. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. From the belt, the pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Man, I know this feeling, how frustrated this hitter is right now. We used to have a saying in the dugout, don't be that guy. When everybody's getting hits, don't be the guy that takes the over. But you got to zone up. You can't be chasing. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3-2 and two now. Jordan Brewer would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Dawson over at second. Jones on at first with two down. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh, that's a walk that could really change the complexion of the game. With the bases loaded, if he gives up a base hit right here, it could get real ugly. Now at the plate, here is Jordan Brewer. He's looking to deliver here with the bases loaded and two out in the inning. First pitch of the A.B. now. Ball one, no play. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse, worse. This guy needs to find a strike zone in the worst way. Here's the 1-0. Oh. Hey. Right down the shoot that time. One and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Ready with the one two and he strikes him out here so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. But the damage was done right here as you get another look at the grand slam home run. Seven complete here tonight as they've doubled up now it's six to three. Enoli Paredes has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 48. Enoli. Oh, 
ready to begin the eighth and stepping up as the shortstop Gabriel Arias ready with the first pitch here it comes a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one one and oh now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. Well, as demonstrated there, that's a tough pitch to do anything with. Yeah, good luck. But hey, a high fastball all of a sudden becomes really dangerous for a pitcher if it's not spotted above the zone. A little height difference makes all the difference. I think he held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Ball to two. two balls and two strikes now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys in this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and it backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. So now to the plate, Tyler Krieger. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Good changeup, and it's 0-2. No Two well-executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. One out, nobody on. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Brewer is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now batting the third baseman, Nolan Jones. Digging in will be Nolan Jones. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Now here's the first offering. One oh. Nope. That's Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. The 2 0 on the way. Ball three. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. Hey. There's a fastball right down Broadway yep. taken for a strike. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And the next to bat will be Josh Naylor. Has a look. Now the pitch. No. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. The 1 0.
pitch is popped up. Nova has a play, and he makes the play to end the inning. So now to the plate for Yudis Nova. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. Not shortstop. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. It's pretty tough for a hitter to go up there looking for a first pitch changeup. And a good job of dropping it in for strike one. On the ground to third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. Yeah, I'm not sure. This ball might have caught him in between hops. He looked unsure which way to turn his glove, and the next thing you know, it's by him. To the plate now, Rubble Garcia. And as the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. on this one it's high and deep to center and oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet it's off the wall and a relay home and he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late well this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there when you allow the leadoff man on base it always comes back to haunt you with no outs I thought they might hold the runner at third but they send him anyway and the run scores Late now, Garrett Stubbs. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. Now the 1 0 is taken for ball two. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on it. Now the 2-0. Falling behind now, three and one. Ross Adolph is on deck. The three one. Left side, but well fouled. A slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Beautiful backdoor slider for the punch out right there, guys. When it's tight like this one was, it looks like a fastball off the plate, then darts back at the corner at the last second, locked him up completely with that one. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Ross Adolph, he's driven in four already, and yet another big RBI opportunity for him right here. Matt, they couldn't have asked for anyone to hit better in this spot than this guy right here. He looks dialed in at the plate right now. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Nope. And so okay. take a look at ball one. The 1-0 home hey. is looked at for the first strike. the one and one pitch swing line drive that's going to be trouble Hack 
back on another here as the runner scores from second. And he is in the third with his fourth hit of the ball game. That is now three triples for him in the game, which is darn near impossible. In fact, the last 15 years or so, only a few guys have done it. Pretty impressive what he's been able to do in this one. James Karinchek answers the call now, looking to get this one onto the ninth inning without any trouble. Number 99, James Karinchek. Into the box, Marwin Gonzalez. Ball, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 0. Oh. His prior history in this matchup, small sample, a perfect one for one. Now the 1 0. Oh. 2 0. Oh. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? A man at third with one away. Fouled off. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. And a big swing and a miss here, two strikes. Hey, I know they say this is not the place you want to work up in the zone for fear of home runs going out of Coors Field. But I'll tell you what, maybe he's enticing some more swing and miss up there. Maybe going to work a little bit more north and south today. Ronnie Dawson waits on deck. Out of the stretch, the 3 2 pitch home. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 9-3 no, game no. now. They talk about having a productive inning. You like to see that. You like to add on runs anytime you can. And a sack fly here gives their team another insurance run. And they're starting to blow this thing wide open. And now the first pitch. Too high. Pull. One oh misses for the second ball. ball. No strike. When you're down six on the mound, you got at least throw strikes here. Three runs already home here. Three oh, and oh man. now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. One's in there, three and one. Full count. And it's up three to a three-two full count now. When you get yourself to a three-one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt it. Bases are empty here with two men out. Shot on the ground is short. He's right there. Throw oh. in time and the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. One error and no one left. Ninth inning coming up. The Skeeters lead it nine to three. All set to start the ninth in this one. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. Johnson. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Set to deliver the 0-1. One. one and one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now.
One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. I got to count two and two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now batting, the center fielder, George Valera. Next, it'll be George Valera flew out last time up. First offering. Ball, exit time. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready Two to pull balls, the trigger. One Two and one to count. Now the pitch. And he comes ball back ball. with one three, down two. and in for ball three. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Hey, he had to make a gorgeous transfer right there from his glove to his hand going to his forehand in that situation right there. And he pulled it off beautifully. Stepping in now, Bernie Clement. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. Two ball. It's never advantageous to fall behind 2-0 as a pitcher, but if you're going to do it, it's far better to do it with a guy down in the bottom of the order. Time for a challenge fastball right here, though. Two balls and a strike to count. Ryan LaVarnway would be next. The 3 1. Hit to third. On the first, and that's your ball game. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. Nine to three, the final tally here in this one. The Sugarland Skeeters jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Pedro Baez earns the victory on the mound. So that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Our final line score. First for the victorious Skeeters, nine runs on nine hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Clippers, three runs, six hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes.
Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.